Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager here at Autodesk. Today we're going to start part one of, four, of a four-part series on creating your own virtual reality experience for any type of infrastructure project. I've got it labeled VR Level 1, Drone to VR, because that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with creating a virtual reality experience from drone photos, so drone photogrammetry. That's where we're going to start in Recap Photo. We'll bring that information into InfraWorks, which we will use as our aggregator, and then we'll bring it in, bring that information into 3ds Max, and then ultimately in 3ds Max Interactive, so that we can create our deployment for the HTC Vive. Again, this is the beginning level of of what I'm calling VR Level One. So there will be several other levels of VR that we talk about in the future, but I wanted to start here because we all start with existing conditions and gathering existing conditions uh, with a UAV or a drone of some sort is becoming more and more mainstream. And I wanted to show you how you can take that information directly into a VR environment. I say directly um, by using the AEC collection, you can take it into the a VR environment and uh, start to experience that, not only in your office, but in multiple offices. Um, it could be across the state, could be across the US, could be across the world. So I uh, just wanted to, to show you this workflow and show you uh, that it is a, a very quick and easy way to experience your project in VR. So before we dive right into the workflow, what I'd like to start off with is, is answering a question that I've had a lot of folks ask. How do you find or how do you get 3ds Max Interactive? So the products again that we'll be using in this four-part series, we'll be using Recap Photo, we'll be using InfraWorks, we'll be using 3ds Max, and ultimately we'll be inside of 3, 3ds Max Interactive so that we can produce our deployment for the HTC Vive. So a couple things I wanted to take you through is how to get 3ds Max Interactive. So if you have the AEC collection on subscription, then you have an entitlement of 3ds Max Interactive. So it comes with the AEC collection. It also comes with 3ds Max. If you have 3ds Max under subscription, then you also get as an entitlement 3ds Max Interactive. So I'm going to show you where that's at. So I've gone to manage.autodesk.com so I can see my software that I'm, I'm entitled to. So I'm just going to log in here. All right. I'll log in. Put in my password, and it'll start to populate. Now you'll be able to see here on the left where your what software you're entitled to, or that you have under subscription. You can see here I have AAC collection, so I'm going to select that. And here under 3ds Max, you'll see the different versions of 3ds Max that you're entitled to. Now if you select downloads, if you have again, if you have this under subscription, then you'll be able to click downloads, and you'll see here. 3ds Max Interactive is a download that you can select. So again, you need to have either the AEC collection under subscription or you need to have 3ds Max uh, as a standalone under subscription and you'll be able to get 3ds Max Interactive as an entitlement. All right, so there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Uh, folks are asking also where to get Recap Photo. So if you scroll down here in your entitlements and you see Recap Pro, Recap Photo is embedded inside of the Recap Pro installer. So you need to just download the installer for 2018. So I can go to Downloads here. And I can download Recap Pro. And when you go to Install Recap Pro, it'll give you the option to actually install Recap Photo. Then you'll be able to submit your photos to the cloud for processing so you can get back an RCS, RCP um, files that you need um, in order to complete this workflow. So I just wanted to take just a little bit of time here in the beginning to actually show where you can get the software that you need. So like I said, we're going to be in and out of three or four different products inside of the AEC collection. And those products, again, are Recap Photo. That's where we're going to start. Uh, we're going to bring that information into InfraWorks and use InfraWorks as our aggregator of data. Then we're going to push out an FBX file to 3ds Max. We're going to run a script or two on it so that we can get the textures and everything the way that we need. And then we're going to bring that into 3ds Max Interactive. And I think that you'll see that the way that it pushes into 3ds Max Interactive is very smooth and, and easy to do. And then there's a couple things we need to do inside of 3ds Max Interactive. 
before we go ahead and create our deployment for our VR experience. So first things first, we need to go ahead and, and submit our project here for our photogrammetry. So here in Recap Photo, I have some images that I've flown with a drone and I need to go ahead and create my project. So I'm gonna go up to Arial. And once I'm in Arial, I've got two buttons over here on the left. I'm gonna just grab Add Photos and I'm gonna scroll out. Now, I'm gonna use the same directory for the entire four parts of this lesson so that you can see how this, this folder kind of builds as we go. So I've got a recap photo folder that I've created and all of my images are inside that, fo that folder. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select all of my images and hit open. Now it's going to populate here and load all of the images for us to look at. Now in this particular instance, we don't necessarily have to have what we call GCPs, ground control points. Recap Photo actually will read the coordinates from the photos themselves and it will give us what we need for this particular type of experience that we're trying to build. So you, if you have GCPs, that just makes it better. So let's go ahead and show you where we can input those GCPs. If we move over here to the left, you can select ground control points, and we can actually copy and paste a ground control file into this area. And you basically just have to have a, it can be a file that's either XYZ, and in, in the survey world, you know, XYZ could be easting, northing, and Z elevation. You could have a, northing easting Z elevation file, and it will actually put it in the correct format here in the dialog. But you can just copy and paste that text file right into this window, and then start selecting your GCPs, and the photos that are in that area graphically, or when I say graphically, I mean the GCP itself, any photos that show in the area of where that GCP is at, they will populate here on the screen, so you can pick and pull pretty easy to set your ground control. Now again, we don't have to have GCPs for what we're doing, um, and, and you don't have to have GCPs for creating the VR experience. So we're just going to go ahead and let it load. It loaded all of my photos. I'm going to hit Create, and we just fill this out. So I'm just going to call this uh, N dot, and I'm going to go ahead and put check marks here because I want all three of these to be built. I want the RCM, which is the mesh file. I want the RCS, which is the point cloud itself, and I want the georeference TIFF or the ortho photo that it's going to create for me. Now, you want to go ahead and set your target coordinate system. So this is the coordinate system that the photos were shot in. It's state plane. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select my state plane, and this is was done in Nevada. So NV83EF is my coordinate system. I hit OK, and you can see that it, it's going to take 30 cloud credits in order to process this information. All right, so I would go ahead and I would hit start and it would pop back to my dashboard and it starts to push this information to the cloud. So what it's doing, you can see here, it's preparing to upload. So it could it will push this information to the cloud. Uh, once it's pushed to the cloud, it will start to process. It takes about four hours, four and a half hours for it to come back. And then we can download the files that we told it we wanted to build, like the RCM, the RCS, and the georeference TIFF. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch this thing upload or wait for the processing. I've already processed this file. So let's take a look at what it gave us. So if we go out to recap360.autodesk.com, this will bring up all of our projects. Now that particular project is still loading, so it would load and it would have to process, and then it would look something like this. It would populate here on the screen. So if we can, Download from the one that's being built. We can download from any of them. They're going to give us the same information back. So I'm just going to select one of these projects, and I'll show you where you can download your information. So once the dashboard comes up, we can see here you've got a download area. So we can select View Downloads, and we can select any of these items to download. So the information that we want for this particular project is the RCS and the TIFF. All right, so we would download the RCS and download the TIFF for this particular project. Like I said, I know this is another project because the other one is still pushing um, up to the cloud to be processed, but if it's the same scenario for everything that you try and download off of here. You can, you can go straight to this, just pick on the project, and this screen will open up and you can pick downloads and select it. Now, you can also go to your A360 drive 
and you can download it straight from there also. But this is kind of a visual uh, way of doing it, and it is very, very smooth and easy to, to pull that information. So once this is processed and we've downloaded our information, let's take a look at what it gives us. So if I look here in the folder that I created in my folder structure, I've got that recap photo folder that I told you we were going to build upon, and we're going to build this out as we go through the part one, through, through part two, three, and four. I can look here, and I've downloaded the mesh ortho and my RCS file. All right, so I've got my point cloud and I've got my georeference TIFF so that I can start to populate a model inside of InfraWorks. And that's again where we're going to aggregate all of our data and then push out an FBX file into 3ds Max. And I don't want to get too far ahead, so this is where we'll end part one. Uh, be looking for part two. It should be in the same playlist here on YouTube, and you should be able to jump right into it. And we're going to be going into InfraWorks in our next session. So I hope to see you there. Thank you.